Good morning, Grade Eights. Welcome back at school. We will continue with this this week, um, and then we'll see each other next week at school, hopefully. So please keep up with me this week. We're going to do three lessons, and please try and do all three of them. Okay, we're starting with a new chapter about uh, fractions. Now, the one thing you must understand today is equivalent fractions or equal in value. That's where the word comes from. Let's look at the pizza. Here is half of the pizza is green. But when I divide this pizza also like this again in half, then there's four pieces in the pizza. But this piece on the left is still half of the pizza, but now it's also two quarters of the pizza. Those two quarters are exactly the same size or value as one half. And this is called equivalent fractions. Let's divide the pizza into eight pieces. Each piece will be one eighth. But the left side of the pizza, one half, one half, will still be exactly the same size. But now this one half consists of four eighths. So four eighths are exactly the same value or size as one half, and that's called equivalent fractions. Now, we can get equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing with a number one. You must remember that two on two is the same value as one. Three on three is the same value as one. Four on four is the same value as one. So, if I have to write equivalent fractions, I'm going to take this and write the equivalent fraction for one third. So I'm going to multiply this with one. It's either going to be two on two, three on three, four on four, five on five. How will I know? Let's look at this number. Remember, we call this the numerator and the denominator. The three must change to nine. If I multiply three with three, I will get nine. Then I must do exactly the same at the top. Three on three is the number one. So this is not going to change in value. It's only going to get a new name. Three times three is nine and one times three gives me three. Three on nine is the same as one third. Let's do this one. Two on five. Let me just do this. This fraction is the same as how many on 20? I must multiply the top and the bottom with the same number. 5 must change to 20. If I multiply this with 4, it gets 20. But then I must do exactly the same with the top part of the fraction, the numerator. 2 times 4 gives me 8. 8 on 20 is exactly the same as 2 fifths. Okay, now something that you must do some revision about. We never work with mixed fractions, two and a quarter. We never, ever work with that. Can you remember how to change this? Instead of two and a quarter, I can say two times four is eight, plus the one at the top gives me nine on four. So we change that to nine on four. Two times four plus one, nine on four. And this is exactly the same as how many on eight? What fraction? Four changes to eight times two. Nine also times two gives me 18 on eight. Equivalent fractions. Okay, sometimes I must divide to get the equivalent fraction. Six must change to three. If I divide it with two, as long as I divide the top part also with two, two on two is one. Something divided by one doesn't change. It just gets a new name. Six divided by two gives me three. Thirty divided by two is fifteen. Fifteen on three is the same fraction as thirty on six. Let's look at this one. Thirty must change to six. Oh, divide with 5. As long as I do the same with the top part of the fraction. 
Divided by 5 gives me 6. This divided by 5 gives me 5. 5 on 6 is exactly the same as 25 on 30. Okay, here's the summary. To get equivalent fractions, you multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. We call it the number 1. 2 on 2 or 3 on 3 or 4 on 4 or 5 on 5 is exactly the same as 1. Okay, our homework consists of two parts. This must be done first and then you go to your textbook and try these. I will send you the answers tomorrow. Remember, we must do three lessons this week. Please try and keep up. See you again tomorrow.